Check this out. <gasps> Dean. Vargas. I need to know what happened out there. Wait up, I, while I heal. I, I don't know, Daniel. Just lost everyone. Ah, oh, they grabbing from? fields. This bunker's been locked down for 13 years. Jesus Christ. Hold up, hold up. So it's just us. Yeah, I'm too old for this shit. Let's just scavenge what we can and barricade ourselves in. It's the only option we have at this point. Fuck that. Let's just grab the gear and make a run for it. We can't go outside. That nuke did something it shouldn't have. We've all seen the data. There's enough radiation outside to kill us the minute we leave. So, we're stuck here? Yeah. We're fucked. Thank <laughs> you. 
this up. They escaped, left us behind. There were only a few of us after the attacks. Daniel, Vargas, William, and me. Zombies got the rest. Daniel broadcasted an SOS, but the communication system had long since rusted, burning from the radiation fires above in the city. We became prisoners in a place designed to save us. As Daniel realized the true purpose of Delta Sector and its inability to save them, he finally snapped. The leader became the liability. The remains of Haven disbanded, retreating into the shadows of the bunker, away from the eyes of the dead. Over the years, the generators failed, and the lights went out in the bunker, one by one. The ventilation system failed, releasing blood-red gas into the remains of the bunker, eventually leaking into the city. As the years went by, all traces of life in the bunker vanished, leaving behind a bloodied graveyard beneath the cursed city, filled with ghosts screaming at the rotted corpses who still lingered inside. And the survivors? Well, once they ascended into the city above, they were never seen again. They faded away. Dust.